Hello everyone and welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. Hey gamers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support that you show the channel each and every day. We really do appreciate it. You know, and especially thank you for supporting us during this dark time. You know, we're still at least a couple of weeks out before we even get power on. Uh, thank you to BTE down here in Bristol, Tennessee for saying, hey, you know what? Because of your credit history, 660 bucks is what we want for electricity to just to turn you out. But with that being said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. While you're there, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you haven't already, uh, hit that notifications icon there. It'll notify you of um, basically um, new content coming from Xbox Beyond the Box. And hopefully our stuff will get better as we get power on. Now, I apologize if there might be a little bit of background noise. It is storming outside. But I needed to talk about a video. And I know some of you are going, well, hey, Dragon, what are you talking about, man? What's going on? What's on your mind, Dragon? Well, quite frankly, I have to question whether or not I was wrong about backwards compatibility. And I know some of you are going, wait a minute, Dragon, backwards compatibility is the best thing that ever happened to Xbox. No, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, backwards compatibility to me is okay. You know, it's a great feature, don't get me wrong. I love going down memory lane and playing games I did, played like 20 years ago on a new system. And it looks amazing and it was fun for a few hours. But it feels like it's Microsoft's way of sleight of hand. And I know a lot of you are going, sleight of hand, Dragon, what are you talking about? Well, best example is we know that Microsoft at E3 is not really delivering. I mean, all the, all the signs point to E3 being bad. And all this time, Microsoft said, you know, we're opening our wallets, we're buying new stuff. But the only thing we've really heard is a lot more backwards compatibility. So it's kind of like we show you in this hand. This is backwards compatibility. We take that and we put that in your face. And this hand, we don't really have anything. You know, I, and I know some people are going, no, 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 no. Wait, Dragon, they have Gears of War. And they have Halo and Forza. And we should be excited. No, we shouldn't. No. We need new stuff. I mean, in case, if you're an Xbox fan, you have to be looking out the window and going, damn, the sun is kicking our ass. You know, I mean, that's just the way it is. And I got to admit, Sony, Sony's the master of the game. I mean, they came out uh, with PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and they actually know how to name their shit, too. PlayStation, it works. It's what it does. It plays. Uh, Xbox, sounds like a porno system. You know, and granted, I mean, you probably you can probably watch it, you know, not, not saying that to do, but, you know, being and everything. Um, there's plenty of places you can watch porn on Xbox. But nonetheless, uh, let's get aside from that. I know parents are going, wait a minute, that asshole's telling my kid he can watch porn on his Xbox. I'm going to have to beat the shit out of that damn machine now for sure. No. Um, and if you're a college student, it might be your best friend. I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, backwards compatibility here. You know, when you look back at it, you know, yeah, it is nice to go down memory lane. But Microsoft, hear me out. We want new shit. I mean, we really do. Mech, uh, what is it? Mech Assault is sitting back there, you know? And you're going, well, it's going to be backwards compatible. I don't want to play something I played 20 years ago. I want to play something new. Mech Assault 3. You left us hanging on Mech Assault 2. I mean, open up your damn studio. It ain't that hard. You all got the money. I mean, tell some of the executives that are making millions of dollars to take a pay cut. And I know some of them executives, you know, their fingers just tightened up to the point that if they eat a piece of coal, they could shit a diamond. But nonetheless, the situation is we want new stuff. And, I mean, God of War proved that you could take an old title and make it kick ass. And then Microsoft's going, well, we got Master Chief. As much as I love the Chief, man, I mean, he is awesome and everything. And Spartan Lock, the newest character, we still want new stuff. I mean, let's face it. Um, you know, I look back and there's need, you know, and I may, might as well take a shot at Bioware for the hell of it. Bioware and EA, the evil alliance. The idea that you cannot sit down and say that Jade Empire was a great game. Let's get some people out, break out the artists, break out the storytellers, because Bioware used to have them, apparently not anymore. Bioware is like one nail, one nail away from its coffin. You know, we're all going to be standing around going, kicking some dirt on it, going, eh, they used to be great. A couple old-timers, eh, I remember when Bioware was so good, Mass Effect, Master Chief. 
But, uh, not Master Chief, Ma uh, Commander Shepard, there's your gamers out there going, I'm going to kick his ass. Um, but nonetheless, backwards compatibility seems to be a gimmick to distract us from the situation. Gamers, we're pushing forward. Time moves on, and we need new stuff. So, I mean, I want to hear from you. Backwards compatibility, was it a gimmick to distract us from the fact that Microsoft doesn't really have anything? Or, you know, is it a great thing? And is it in your opinion that, Dragon, I think that backwards compatibility is the best thing to ever happen to Xbox. I'm willing to listen. So, you know, with that being said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, you know, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, you know, because I'm still going to keep making videos, even though I'm standing here in the dark. Well, I got a little bit of light from the, uh, from the window there. But nonetheless, y'all show up, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, get yourself a reminder. With that being said, gamers, I wish y'all the best. Stay awesome out there. I've been your host, Dragon Dust. This has been Xbox Beyond the Box, and we've been talking about backwards compatibility. Y'all stay awesome. I'm out of here, man.